Hello and welcome back to the survival series on No Man's Land. So I'm just testing out, well I'm just about to test out the John Deere. So I pulled it down with the trailer. I have been doing a few loads already with the logs. Um, so I'm already at 12,000 but I thought looking at the price of everything and uh, following on from what I mentioned in the last episode, um, I definitely think I need a bit more. I was looking at silage as well and I think it's going to be a bit expensive to buy a pickup wagon and a windrow. We're looking at about probably 30... 35,000 and then with a silage pit maybe another five uh, if we get the tire one which is 40,000 and we're going to be definitely shy of that um, so I was looking at a baler which we can get for pretty cheap I found a, a baler mod um, pretty pretty old one for about two and a half thousand and a windrow is about five thousand so that's easily affordable but the problem is then we need a wrapper and the thing the cheapest wrapper is about 30,000 or 20, 20 something thousand at least so silage is going to be difficult it really is so my next bet was let's buy a tedder, um, do some hay. Uh, we can buy the baler again, like I said, windrow, tedder. Um, and I think that's going to be the best option. It really is. So this will be my third load now of this to try and generate some money. So we're just going to take this up and I'm going to try the tractor. And I'm hoping it actually pulls up a lot better than uh, what the truck does. So we're going to test this out see if it's the actual weight and the slope. Or is it the actual equipment that we're using? I'm hoping it's not the slope of the hill. So, and this isn't 4 before as well, this is a two-wheel drive. But it's a tractor. And traditionally, tractors pull better. Now there is uh, some hefty load on here. Should take a time over this bit. through the rough bit so now it's all uphill now it's either going to do this awfully or okay so it's not flying up it's definitely struggling come on little John Deere you can do it slowly but surely it's gaining up I mean that engine is screaming Come on. Here we go. We're going to do this. I actually think the gears on here are actually working out a little bit better. So at least it gets up the hill. And yeah, it doesn't fly up and it struggles a little bit, but six miles an hour, seven miles an hour is a lot better than what the truck was doing. I think I was getting about one, sometimes one to three. It was a lot slower. And I'm hoping this is going to be the last load I do for quite some time. It's just nice to have a proper tractor. Something with a cab on. Like I said, it's small and uh, quite nimble, but I think it's perfect for where we're at. And I do need to try as well to figure out what to do with the money we generate from the hay. Cause Think if we, we've got a lot of grass to cut we could probably make quite a few bales if we needed to but the question is then what do we do what we're we going to aim for what's the target so 7,000 liters of wood that's a good amount so let's get in here let's reactivate this and we're going to sell and sell um, and then again it's just going to be about biding our time now I'm not going to take the pallets um, it was quite a lot of work I'm just going to let it directly sell I think we do get a bit of a decrease in the money we earn from that but it'll make things a lot easier so I don't mind I don't mind taking that little hit now I do need to take off the realistic um, cab view mod because uh, some tractors and this one have found it doesn't support it. it always thinks that this the way it's been set up as a mod this is now the rear so that's what it thinks the front is that's why it's directly on so it's obviously back to front on that which is not ideal um, there might actually be a reason for that if this tractor actual um, seat moves which I think it does you know yeah that'll be the issue so because it moves 
we need to remove that mod which I don't mind doing I'll, I'll make sure I do that for the next episode uh, but we might have to stick to a bit of the third person view for the, for just for this episode I mean as you can tell I'm like lopsided I'm on, I'm on the right hand side like I'm in the passenger seat or I'm actually just sitting on the seat on, on the rest <laughs> as uncomfortable that would be Especially going over these bumps. Can you imagine sitting on the on the actual seat rest, going over these bumps? Now, at some point as well, when we get some spare money, which is obviously probably not going to happen for a while, I am going to use the the uh, landscaping tool to flatten that out. Um, it's good when we start, definitely, and uh, it's made it a bit more tricky. And I actually like, you know, the way that it's. Uh, kind of worked out on that but I think if we start earning money there's no reason why we can't pay to smooth that track out because it's something you probably do naturally anyway you would want to smooth that out so you can probably tell I have been busy trying to do a few little things just to get a head start on the video so I did go around and mow up all around I think it's uh, quite a bit of grass I didn't do anywhere else, even though we have got quite a bit of land down in the bottom. We can even try and work our way through the trees. It really doesn't matter. It's all our land. Um, and technically, it's just all grass, so we need to make the most of this grass. It's a shame we've gone pretty much a whole year without getting a cut properly. But that's why I wanted to get something mowed, because if I do now go into December, I might still get the chance to bail this up. I mean, without real seasons, let's say, proper seasons... Um, it wouldn't be a very good idea because this is probably rot away and then come December can you really Ted grass probably not but the way that the game is set up now on FS22 with the seasons implemented it doesn't really matter at all um, and there is a lot of things I'm missing from seasons I don't know if anyone else is having the same um, uh, feeling about the original slash real seasons compared to this version this is definitely a nerfed out version I don't mind saying it as it is it really is I mean animals don't perish if, if you don't feed them uh, you can even gain some income by just having a cow that doesn't get fed um, and, or you don't even give it water and it'll still actually grow in value and uh, yeah the grass doesn't turn to hay naturally by drying out in the sun you have to ted it um, which again is you know there's some positive depends how you want to play really but I want it to be as realistic as possible so it is a bit of a shame and I'm hoping Realism modding, I believe it is. I hope they do come out with their own version of Seasons. And also, hopefully, it will be easier for them to do it because they might just have to tweak this version now a little bit because uh, some of it's there. I mean, you've got the weather. You've got, the uh, obviously, the difference in the textures going through the year. Uh, so hopefully, it will be something they can do. Fingers crossed. And I know a lot of people are asking for it, so um, I'm definitely not the one who's asking for that. And uh, But yeah, let's just hope they can do something for all those realistic-style gamers. So, obviously I need to speed up time now, and I'm just going to sleep it out. I'm going to sleep it out till tomorrow. Hopefully the money will come back in, and then come the morning, which is going to be 24 hours, unfortunately, we can do some grass work. Who would believe it? And we'll make some hay in December. Right, so welcome back. It is December. It really doesn't matter what time of year it is, uh, but I do want to quickly just check the weather. Now, I'm hoping... We're not going to get any snow. It looks like we're going to get snow next month. So I just don't really want to be doing... Um, there's a limit, I guess. Um, doing hay bales in December. Let's go for it. But doing hay bales in the snow, I think that's the cut-off point, really. So 22,000, that's where we're sitting. So let's get some stuff purchased. Let's get down to the shop. And, uh, yeah, let's start and crack on with this. We, even if we just try and focus on this area here to do some hay... Hay bales. I think that'll be a good start, and then we'll move over to maybe doing some land over there. I mean, look how many deers are out there. It's crazy. I mean, I don't usually see this many. It's obviously the perfect environment for them. So, let me just have a quick look at what we could tackle over here. There's obviously the grass that I tried to... Well, I've cleared up quite a lot of space over here because of the, the, the trees that I've been chopping down, as you can tell. So there is quite a lot here. We'd have to move out these uh, to obviously make room. Um, 
We can actually try and delete these out, hopefully. There we go. These little pieces, let's get them out, out of the way. We're going to need this area. There we go, that's that bit. It's a shame this doesn't grow. I think there's just a little bit up here. Some more deers. They obviously know I've got a John Deere. And it just uh, turned up. But like, it must be the deer farm. There we go. And then there's one little bit over here. There we go. So we freed up quite a bit of space there. Uh, there is some more grass. And then there's also quite a lot around the field area that we do want to start trying to tackle some point. Uh, but obviously we can start mowing pretty much all around here and probably down that side. In fact, this tree, we may as well move. If we can. It looks like we might be able to. Just got an achievement. You would not believe it. So there we go. So we just made a bit of space there as well. I mean, the rest of them aren't too bad. But this is probably going to be quite a bit of grass over here. So I think the first thing I'll do now is just have a look at the shop. We don't need to go up to it. We'll purchase it and get it there waiting for us and then we can go and collect it. Right, so let's go in order of what we need. So we're obviously going to need a windrow to start with. And there is some cheap options. We've got the 5,000 pound one, this SIP, which is 2.5 meters, um, all within our range of horsepower. And then we've got this one for 5,900, which goes up to 3.4. And then obviously we jumped to 4.7 for 8,000. But I actually think that we don't really need much. I haven't got any mods, unfortunately, that I can afford. So I think the Pottinger is about right. For the extra 900 pound, we gain, well, 0 0.9, uh, 0.9 meters. So I think this is the one we're gonna go for. So there we go, so that's it, the shop waiting for us. So now what we need is a tedder. We've got a 7,000 pound one there for 4.4 meters, and then a 6,500 there, but that's only 1.2 meters, so I think um, it's a no-brainer, really. Let's get the 4.4 meter one. And we've got 9,000 pound left for a baler. Um, and unfortunately, like I said about the wrapper, 22,000 is the cheapest one. Um, and again, nothing's on offer that we really want. So let's just get a bail it, and then I think we're all set. Now, I have got a couple of options here. Um, I really would have liked to get maybe something along the lines of a mini bailer. I would have liked the D800, because that's a perfect bailer, that is, for what we need. I think I can actually even pick them bales up by hand. But we have got a wheel loader now with a pallet fork that will pick up bales quite easily. Uh, but this is the one I found, this one, which is a pretty old school again eastern european style definitely eastern european i've seen these before and yeah it is only 2530 and do you know what this is all we need for what we're, where we're at this will do the job so let's put that there now unfortunately it looks like i've got to go and do a few trips now so let's head off get this done do you know what what i'm gonna actually do is i'm gonna do this off camera so it's obviously not me going up and down but i might actually jump out the game as well and sort this view out because i do like being in cab and it's uh yeah it's not it's not as fun when it's like this but quickly just before i do that i'm going to point this out to you so this greenhouse mod that i've been using it's actually got a cover on so when it gets to like december time i think january so it's when it's in the winter months this cover goes on to the greenhouse, which I think is pretty neat. Um, and eventually we will start tackling some of this, but obviously we need um, to generate probably a bit of water as well from somewhere. There's only a lake that I know that's on the original kind of farm on No Man's Land. But yeah, I'll, I'll get this sorted out. I'll get these pieces of kit back to the farm, and I'll also sort out this camera view, because uh, this is becoming a bit strange. Right, so I'm back at base. Um, don't really want to say back at the farm yet. It kind of doesn't feel like a farm, in all honesty. It kind of feels like a bit of a small holding. 
um, yeah, it's a bit like home, yeah? We need to start, obviously, making it into a farm, which is going to be the idea of this series. Get it into a farm, sell it all up at the end, and take that money and actually go and progress and try and become even bigger eventually. That's the aim. But yeah, I'm completely digressing off my topic, which is the fact that I've brought all the equipment back. So we've got the baler, which is massive. I didn't even realize how big this bill is. I don't know if it's supposed to be that big, but look at the size of it. When I was driving it back, it dwarfed. I mean, it made the tractor dwarf. It's insane, but yeah, big baler. I imagine that it's gonna give big bales or maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we got the tedder. No, yeah, that's the tedder. And then we got the windrow. That's right. Yeah. So we got the tedder and the windrow. So what we need to pretty much do is ted this up and windrow it. And then we're going to make some hay bales. Get it all done. And then we'll, we'll worry about mowing um, another patch probably in a different episode. Or even at the end of this episode, we'll try and do a bit more. But the first thing I need to do is uh, I've already disconnected that. So let's crack on and do some tedding. Now, it's going to be tricky to actually ted this up and windrow it and bale it because of the fact that it's not um, a typical shaped field, let's say, or a working area. PTO, get them hoses in, job done. So, let's just unfold this. Um, it shouldn't be a bad sized tedder, in all honesty. And it should, fingers crossed, do this job. But yeah, like I was saying about the shape of it, it's it's a, a strange shape that I'm mowing and uh, going to be bailing up. So I'm hoping, like this here, I wouldn't like to come uphill this, so hopefully we'll just go downhill with the baler, because that baler is massive. Well, it looks like it's going to do this pretty quick. Shouldn't take too long. All them deers that were out just chilling by that little pond bit there in the pond over here, they're going to be like, he's actually got equipment now. It's going to be too loud for him. Go on. There you go. It's getting stuck. So I'm trying to think the best way to do this. I might go round in a circle around the... I've probably got way too close to the uh, this pond. Should we call this pond one? Another one, Pond 2. Not Pontoon, but Pond 2. Um, I haven't really got any path to do this in. I'm just going to go round. It's nice to not be doing a bit of logging, I'll be honest. I have spent many hours now doing logging. And it doesn't probably see, seem that way in the video, but it is quite a um, repetitive task. Um, which is most of the gameplay in Farmer Simulator, but a lot of it is quite relaxing, whereas the logging can be uh, the opposite. I mean, everyone's got their own, obviously, tastes and opinions on stuff like that, but for me, I much prefer to do traditional farming. But then again, I, I imagine when we sell these bales, we're going to be shocked at the amount of money we're going to make compared to what we've been making. And we'll probably be back down to what we'd expect <laughs> at the start. Now, I'm actually probably going to have to miss that bit because that looks like it's going to be a little bit too tricky with that little tree, and I don't want to get rid of any of the trees. I think it's uh, perfectly set right now. This uh, small holding slash base slash farm slash home. So, I actually don't think I've got much left now. Be a bit more down here, but overall, it's probably the majority of it's already done. Um, it's probably not going to give too many bales, but then again, it means we don't have to do that many trips straight away. But I do want to try and sell them in this episode. The aim is to get this all bailed up, road up, bailed up, and then we're going to sell it. That's the aim. So we need to load it on. We're going to be using the pallet fork on the wheel loader. And we're going to get them onto that trailer. We're going to go and take them and sell them. Now, I haven't been looking at the prices or anything like that. I haven't really got an idea too much about when the best time to sell is. We're just going to go and sell it and just make do. So, I mean, I'm only doing this bit here because it just made sense to first just mow around the farm area. Uh, but probably after I'll be doing the actual straight 
flat bit over there that I've got. So there we go. That's the tedding done. So now we need to move over to the windrow. And I do, if I, if I remember rightly, the windrow is actually a smaller piece of kit. Which means it is going to take a little bit longer to do that. Uh, PTO. I thought it was asking me to lower it down. Having this John Deere is massive improvement. It really is. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Porsche would have done all this, probably. Except the baler. It'd look a bit strange with the baler. There we go. Job done. Let's get it unfolded. And uh, we need to figure out now a path, I'd say. This is pretty much the size of... Yeah, this is definitely just the size of the tractor. Maybe a little bit bigger, but not too much difference. I mean, it's a shame we couldn't get a bigger windrow, to be honest. I think it's going to be the one thing that slows us down in this. I don't even know. That turn that I've just done then, I don't even know if the bailer could make that. Right, so I think what I'll do is I'll crack on with the wind drone. I'll cut back in when I've done that and I'll uh, we'll make a start on the bailing then. Right, so welcome back. I've done the wind drone and it turned out all right. That wind drone is a little bit small, I have to say, and probably could have probably gone with a bit of a bigger one with us being at seven and a half thousand. However, the bailer is proving to be difficult so i started it off and i tested it out and uh with it being a mod that obviously i found and it's uh yeah it's difficult to basically find a, a cheap reasonably priced mod now don't get me wrong it picks up but the there's a problem with the texture as you can see there which is not the best let's be honest um and the next cheapest one is 15,000. So even if we sold this, we couldn't place it. So we're going to have to make do. We're going to have to make do. But I think it's got to be vital now to um, swap this out as soon as possible. Uh, just for my eyes, really. Um, and the problem I've got now is, as well, the, the bail is that big. I am actually struggling to get these rows uh, under the trees. And this is what survival's about. The challenges. And it's definitely becoming a challenge. We're going to have to probably come back the other way for them, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, it will still be all right. Because the the actual baler's not directly behind me, it's, it's, uh, I think I'm going the wrong direction for this. So do you know what? Let's, let's start this from the other direction. Go back on ourselves. We'll get this. We'll get this done. Even if I just make one bale, I'm an happy man. But I do want to make more than one bale. Because I imagine that one bale is about... Probably about £250. I was going to make an, an estimated guess. I mean, I haven't looked at the prices, I'll be honest. Whoa. Yeah, it's really difficult with this bale. It's a, it's a tricky one. But you know what? For two and a half grand, what do you expect? It's going to be... This is what you get for two and a half thousand pounds. We cheaped out. So it's when it gets under them branches. It really doesn't like going underneath the branches. But if we can just somehow wing this through. Take speed. Oh, no, didn't like that one. There you go, come on. I have to go a little bit to the left on this one. Yep. We'll miss that little bit. It's only a tiny bit anyway. It's not too bad. So we do need about 15,000 then to get that D800, which is a really good baler. And it, and it will provide bales that I can actually pick up by hand. Uh, let me just figure out what I'm doing here, driving-wise. I'm not doing the best. But yeah, so we need 15,000. We've got 7.5. We sell this, let's say, 2,000. And we're at nine and a half. So we're not too far off, really. And I'll just have to probably work out how many bales I'd need. 
of hay. I mean, it'd be perfect if we were doing silage, but we've got no chance of that. Not yet, anyway, unfortunately. Um, and I think before we even think about doing that, we've done a bit of grass work now. We should probably try as well, after this baler, get a uh, uh, some fi some actual field work equipment so we can start concentrating on... I think I've actually missed quite a bit there. because the, Maybe the pickup where I got full very quick. Yeah, I'd rather get a plough, maybe cultivate you. Start doing some work that way. Cultivate you should be fine. So there we go. That's our first official hay bale. And it's four and a half thousand litres, which isn't too bad. So let's carry on. Pick up some more. You never know, we might be able to get... If I get four bales, I'm very happy. But I don't think we're going to get four bales off this. I think we're probably going to be lucky to get three. Right, so I've done two bales and I feel like I've picked up as much as I can. There's little bits lying around, but do you know what? I've picked up the majority of it. So I think the only thing left to do with it being December, we can't really do any more mowing, as you can tell. It's uh, definitely gone back down. We're just going to have to sell these two bales and I will throw in the straw bale. Why not? Might as well take that as well. So let's get hooked up. Let's drop the baler off first because um, we're not going to need that for a little bit. Let's get hooked up to the trailer. And we'll go see how much two bales can generate us. It's going to be probably really bad in all fairness. And when you think about it, with the amount of money we've been making off logs, it's going to make me question, should I be doing some more logging? And I never thought I'd say that in this episode. So at least we haven't got to load on many bales. That's always a positive. Two bales, that's it. Not a problem at all. Let's see if we can get two on. Now, I am happy with this purchase, at least. This has turned out to be a massive beast. It's really powerful. It doesn't struggle at all. It's actually pretty nimble as well. It's not slow. Let's use the fences to push them on. There we go. Job done. A lot of work. Just for two hay bales. We will sell the straw bale, like I said. Makes sense. So let's drop these down. They actually, the uh, the pallet force performed pretty well on this. It really has. There we go. So now all we need to do is just pick up the straw bale. So there we go. We'll leave that there. Strap these up. And, uh, yeah, we will be done. Let's head to the shop and we'll see how much money we get. We've got 9,000 litres of hay and 5,000 litres of straw. Not much at all, really, in comparison to what you normally would be selling when it comes to this. But you know what? If it gives me a bit of money, it doesn't matter. Every little helps. Maybe we can start looking at the greenhouse because all we need to do is give some water now. The only issue we're going to have there is getting a water trailer. But you know what? I think I have actually seen a few mods at quite reasonably priced. We might even be able to buy one now. Um, that is a good plan because that will make money. Yes, it won't be massive amounts, but it will keep topping us up. Um, we might get to the point where we can um, at least buy some equipment just from the greenhouse and what we're producing there. Now, we're going to need water. And I did actually mention earlier on I wasn't sure where the water is, but I've got two ponds I've completely forgotten about, so it's not actually going to be an issue at all to get water. I've got plenty of it. Right, so there we go. I got £825, and I had to sell the bales here, weirdly. 
Yeah, so that is strange. But obviously, if you've got bales, you can take them there, which is thing. We've got £800. And do you know what? That's actually more than I expected. I'll be honest. I know it's not much at all. But for two bales, £800, you can't really expect much more than that. So let's get back to the farm. Drive through this and it shouldn't disappear. There you go. Um, and we'll have a look at that flat piece of land. And we need to get up to 15,000 um, at least, because then we'll have a bit of a, probably about a 2,000 pound cushion. Uh, what I'll quickly do is while I'm on this road, because it is a straight road, we should be alright for a little bit, we'll actually have a look first at any offers. Nope. Um, our equipment. Let's have a look at the baler. So we're going to get, yeah, around 2,000 for that. So what I want to quickly just do is look for a animals and let's have a look. So we've got one here for 3,000. We could actually buy that right now. We could buy that. A 2,000 water trailer. Perfect, even cheaper. So we'd have to go with a 2,000 pound one. I think we're going to do that because that's another source of income then from the greenhouses. Um, let's get that sorted out. I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I'll get this back to the farm. I'll go up and purchase the water trailer. I'll bring it back and we'll, just before we end the video, we'll get the greenhouse up and running. Right, so welcome back. I've brought the trailer back, but I've got a bit of an issue. It's not recognising the water on the floor there, so it's not filling up from that. So what, what I actually think is it needs a trigger. Now, I, I've got a water trigger that I can place down, and that's not an issue. Um, and instead of travelling all the way over to that each time, I think I'm going to place it down right by the uh, greenhouse. I think it's just going to make my life a lot easier. Now, the only problem with this is we're probably going to have to pay for the water. Now I know I did have somewhere a water trigger, but I can't seem to find it. Now I did find the other one. A water storage tank for filling animals water. Do you know what? We'll put it in. It's a thousand pound. If it doesn't work, we'll sell it. We need to test it out. So it does let us start filling and it's not actually taking us any, any money from us. So that's pretty cool. It means we can actually transfer it over. So I'm happy. I'm happy with this. And that's working. And you can see we're up and running. There we go. We're off to a good start. So we've invested a bit of money into this. But you know what? It's paid off. It really has. So let's have a quick look. Now I have chose strawberries just because they give quite a lot off. So we'll start getting some pallets sooner with the strawberries. Um, but it does wait. We, you know, we need to wait and see how many we're going to get. So I have gone with strawberries. Um, a thousand litres isn't much. So I will keep topping that up. But do you know what? I'm still confident we're going to do well. We've got the greenhouse up and running. We're going to do some strawberries. That's going to bring in the money. So I have got a wheel loader as well with the, the pallets. Now I didn't work very well with the planks, but do you know what? I actually think it's just the planks that I've got. I'm, qu I'm quietly confident that when we try and load up the, the strawberries, we'll, we'll, we'll have a better joy with that. If not, we can always use the fail safe of uh, super strength, uh, but I would really prefer to like it, like to do it this way. Uh, but obviously if it don't work, then you can't do it, but we'll, we'll give it a go. I'm still confident it will, but do you know what? I'm happy with how this worked with the bales. Now, I want to point out as well, I've had a thought about the grass and how to work it. Now, we need to pretty much be doing straight lines to make it a bit easier for us. There is a few, obviously, straight rows down in the field area over there, but what I have looked at, the boundaries of how I set this up, I actually own quite a lot of open grassland out here. Now, it's not too much, don't get me wrong, it's not, but all this grass here I own and the grass to the left-hand side over here. So what I might actually do is start mowing out here until the I think it's the edge of field 23 on no man's land so we're going to be pretty much all the way on the left hand side to about here and I think that's a hell of a lot of grass and we can make a hell of a lot more bales and it's going to be easier than uh, going around the, the trees by the farm so this is going to be our grass field so we're going to have the one for crops over there but this massive patch here is now our grass field which is going to improve things a lot 
means we can kind of get through this and start making some serious bales. So I am going to crack on and do some mowing in this field. So hopefully when you join me for the next episode, we'll be actually tedding that up and windrowing it and we'll be making a lot more bales. Um, and then hopefully as well, depending on how long it takes, we'll be getting some strawberries. So overall, productive episode. I'm, I'm very happy with how it's gone. We've got more equipment. We actually are kind of stacking things up now. You can see that we've even just bought a uh, water trailer, which is going to come in handy. And we've got a tether, windrow, and a bit of a baler that's not very good, but it's still better than having no baler. So before I end the video, I just want to give a big shout out to DW from my Discord server. He's been helping out a lot of people. I've seen his comments. It is really nice to see when everyone's helping each other out with tips and tricks and, and also if someone's got an issue. So thanks DW for being active and uh, yeah, and naturally helpful. Really do appreciate it. So on that note, I am going to leave the video there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.